The objective of this video is to solve this differential equation and we're given some information here. This is to help us find our c value. Let's move all the variables to one side. So the y is on the, one, on the left hand side and the x is on the other side. So all we did here was rearrange the x to the right hand side and the y to the left hand side. Now we take the integral of both sides and we know the integral of 1 on y is ln of y and the integral of negative 0 0.05 with respect to x is negative 0 0.05 x plus c there was a plus c on the left hand side, but if there's a plus c on the right hand side, we call 1c1 and c2. Let's just add them up together and get c3. Now we apply the exponential function to both sides. So ln is the inverse function of the exponential, so it cancels out. So we're left with y equals to e to the negative 0.05x plus c3. We also know that this is also the same as negative 0.05x times e to c3, just from our index laws. So if we look at this term over here, do you guys agree that this is just a constant? Because e raised to the number is also just a number, so we can call this whole section here a. So we're left with a e to negative 0.05x now we can use our given information to find a so we have 100 equals to a e to negative 0 0.05 times 0 e raised to 0 it's just 1 so we consider this whole section 1 that means our a is 100. So our last step is just to plug this back into the equation up here. We have y equals to 100 e to negative 0.05x. And that is our answer.